Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy and today I'll be reviewing the Doberman Pinscher. Alright guys, so the Doberman Pinscher, a dog that had a really bad reputation for a long time, an undeserved bad reputation I might add. These guys had a really bad rap for being a very aggressive dog back in the day. Kind of like what you see with other breeds now. The media really portrayed these guys as a, as a vicious, scary, super aggressive dog, which is not the case at all. Years ago, back in the day when they were originally bred, yes, they were. They were a very aggressive breed. And what people realized were it was a little bit hard to keep a dog that wanted to rip people's faces off in the home. So modern breeding has increasingly lowered their aggression. They're actually a very, very nice, sweet dog. Intimidating looking, yes. And can they be aggressive? Yes, but we'll get into that. Originally bred in Germany and used primarily as guard dogs, as protection dogs, also for police work and as war dogs as well. Nowadays, these guys are still used quite a bit as working dogs, personal protection, guard dogs, things like that. So the story goes that the guy who designed this dog was the tax guy, okay? And he was sick of getting, I don't know, beat up or chased around or whatever. I mean, who likes a tax guy? Nobody does, right? I mean, what a job. Could you imagine back then having to just go up and knock on people's doors? Like, hey, um, I'm here to collect the taxes. You know, people would just be like, oh, really? You want my money? How about this? How about I punch you in the face? And he was sick of getting punched in the face, I assume. Nobody likes that. He decided he was going to make a dog that would help protect him off on his daily routine. So, so he decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to take a bunch of breeds like the Buceron, the German Pinscher, the Rottweiler, the Weimariner. And he combined these dogs in to make the Dobin. And what he wanted was a very tough, obedient, loyal, scary dog. So he wasn't going to get punched in the face anymore. Brilliant. So these guys are a large breed. They're pretty big, very muscular, very bony. And when I say bony, I don't mean like they're like skinny. They're still like, you know, they're, they're pretty. They, they wouldn't rank up top of the cuddle dogs, if you know what I'm saying. Like they don't really like, I mean, they'll cuddle with you. It's not, you know, I'm just saying they're not like the best dogs to cuddle with, okay? They're, they're a little, they kind of, they're like pointy. But a sweet dog nonetheless. They come in four different coat types. They come in black and tan, like you see Sasha is here. She's black and tan. They also come in a red, those are your two most common ones. And then they also come in blue, and they also come in fawn. So four different coat types. Very, very beautiful dog. Very unique looking dog. When you see one of these guys, you know what it is. They're a very common dog. Pretty common dog. Not as common as they used to be. Let's start off with health, as I like to do. Not a very healthy breed, unfortunately. A lot of health issues with these guys. DCM is probably the most common, serious illness that these guys can be affected by. DCM stands for dilated cauter... I can't pronounce it. DCM, look it up. It's on there. It's on, it's on the Google machine. They also have bleeding disorders, issues with their brains being too big for their skulls. Just a, a, a slew of different issues with these guys. Now, again, there are very healthy ones. And as I say before, you always want to make sure that you're going to the right breeder, that they're producing the healthiest Dobermans that they possibly can. Now, when I say they have a lot of health issues, it's just a lot of different health issues that go along with this breed. Doesn't mean that that's going to be the case with every single one. They have an average lifespan of 10 to 13 years, which is really, really good. So you just want to make sure you do your research is all I'm saying. But again, with all the different health issues, it's something that I would be concerned about if I was looking to get one of these breeds. So overall health for me, I'm going to give them a 2.5 for health. All right, moving on to temperament. Now, temperament is an interesting one, again, because of the reputation these guys have had. Yeah, they're scary, I mean, but they're not as aggressive as people say. As far as aggression towards humans, the Doberman Pinscher is definitely not high on that list compared to a lot of other dogs. Now, that being said, I'm not saying if you see one behind a fence, don't, don't hop over and try to give it a hug. I mean, just, you shouldn't do that anyway, no matter what dog it is. Don't be jumping into strangers' yards. But they're not that ferocious unpredictable, uh, the term people always like, they, like they just turned, they just, one day they just turned. They're not gonna turn on you and then you sleep. They're not gonna do that. That doesn't happen with them, okay? I mean, I hope not. But they do make a great guard dog. They are used quite a bit as protection dogs. And they make great protection dogs because they can be aggressive. Now, wait a minute, Liam, you just said they weren't very aggressive. No, but they are able to turn it on and off with commands from their owners. If the owner has them trained properly, then they can turn it on and they can turn it off depending on what their owner wants. But again, they're trained to do that. They're, they're trained to do it so they understand when they're supposed to do it and when they're not, okay? They're not just mindlessly going out there and attacking somebody. So they do make very good protection dogs. A well, properly trained dog by the right people, mind you, okay? Don't just go with your buddy down the street and be like, oh yeah, I, I saw it on YouTube, this is how you do it. Next thing you know, you guys are out there with pillows wrapped around your arms and trying to train the thing to attack. Like, don't do that. Like, go to a professional, all right? A lot of things you can YouTube, okay? A lot of them. How to quilt, how to rewire your remote control car, how do you get your wife to stop complaining every time you leave your socks on the ground, how to change a tire in your car, things like that, okay? 
not how to train your dog to be a protection dog. I feel weird I had to say that, but um, they're a very, very popular family companion dog. These guys do really well in family situations. They're good with kids. I wouldn't say they're fantastic with them, and mainly because of their size. And also with other dogs, I've worked with these guys for a long time. Again, and I've, I've owned uh, a doggy daycare for a long time. I have large groups of dogs that play together, and Doberman Pinches are very popular in my groups, and I've never, ever had an issue with Doberman Pinches. They really do well. They really like to play with other dogs. They're a very playful breed. So I'm gonna give them a five. A five for temperament. Okay, let's talk about activity. They're a very athletic breed. These are a great dog for people who really like to hike, really get outside and hike long distances. They can last a long time. They don't have the thickest of coats, so you might want to throw a jacket on them in the winter time. They can really handle just about any type of weather condition other than the heat. You always want to be careful in the heat, can't stress that enough. You don't have to be a marathon runner. You don't have to be somebody who's hiking the Appalachian Trail twice a day, but you do need to exercise them. And anytime you have a dog, a working dog, you want to make sure that you exercise them enough because mainly because if you don't, that's when you start to start to see any temperament issues. Again, as long as they're getting a really good solid hour a day and you shouldn't have too many issues with these guys. So one to five being one being the least active dog, five being the most, I'm gonna put them at about a 3.5 for activity. Okay, now let's move on to trainability. Like I said, these guys were used as guard dogs. So they had to learn how to attack someone's face, okay, and then stop attacking the face when the owner called it off. So a very intelligent dog, they can learn a lot of different commands. You certainly don't need to train these guys in personal protection. Now, if you want to do that, that's absolutely fine. They excel at it. That's not a problem. You can just train them like a regular dog to heal, walk good on leash. That's a huge one. You definitely want to do that right away. I'll tell you right now. Now, walking on leash is a huge one you want to work on, okay? That's a big one because, I mean, unless you like road rash. Other than that, then... Yeah, skip that step. But honestly, to be serious, these guys are so strong. I mean, they are the strongest dogs I've ever walked. And I've walked every different type, bull masses, masses, way bigger dogs than these guys. I don't know what it is, just their build. They have such a big, strong chest, nice, strong legs. I mean, if you don't train these guys on leash, forget it. We had a three-legged one once, right? Three legs, strongest dog in the world. Strongest dog in the world, unbelievable. They're just powerful, powerful creatures. They have those nice, big, strong back legs. I mean, just powerhouses. Definitely take my advice on this, you guys. Straight off the bat, be like, I need this dog trained on leash. And they can learn it, because they're very smart. They're very, very smart breed, can learn a multitude of different things. They want to please, they're a very obedient dog. So that makes it a lot easier. But get them to training right away, teach them a multitude of different things. They're very smart, they like to work. I'm gonna give them an overall score for five for trainability. All right guys, so that's it. That's the Doberman Pinscher. I'm super sick today, I'm sorry. I'm just taking one for the team here. You guys, I dragged myself in here to do this one. I'm just not feeling very good at all. Couldn't leave you guys hanging. I know it was getting late. I hadn't posted in about a week, so I know I need to get, get on one. Love these guys a lot. Great, great breed, very impressive. I mean, your performance, I'm not gonna lie, Sasha. I'm sorry, it just hasn't been that impressive today. It's been a little bit, I'm sick. I was kind of hoping you would kind of help bring me up. You're bringing me down. Let's go over some pros real quick. Again, if you're somebody who likes an active, big, protective dog, these guys make a great, great fit. They make really good family companions, if you have children. Excellent with other dogs, so if you do have another dog in the house, they're very, very good with them. The cons for these guys could be this size, their health issues, that's another con for some people. They do have a lot of health issues. And again, if it's if it's the right fit for you, if you guys think this is a dog that you guys can handle, that you want, then absolutely I would say go for it. Just do your research. All right, so that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for coming along. I really, really appreciate it. If you are not a subscriber, please click subscribe. We have a lot of other videos. This would be our 28th video on this page. So, so if you like this video, go ahead and once you click on my channel, there's a whole list of other breeds we've done. We've done about 27, 28 different dogs right now. So, and we got a lot more to come. Really appreciate all you guys support. Can't tell you how much your support means to me. I hope you guys had an awesome day with your dogs and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you. I,